Um, do a hint from the... Take it from there. So that little, take it from the second one uh, with the G sharp. Okay. Right. So it's just a little more so. It's, uh, t so it's a, there are eighth notes. Oh. It seems just seems like you're slowing down for some reason. Yeah, like, yeah. And then it's dumb. Okay. So there for some reason you were just hesitating a little bit. It's not a huge Yeah. thing, but take it from the same place. Good, it's getting better. Let's try um, maybe just a little sections a little bit faster because it's the tempo is faster than this. Yeah, yeah. So. Something like that, just slightly faster. Did you freeze? Oh, I thought you froze. Because <laughs> you were like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, start, start that over, get a clean start. <laughs> I had to like think about a, a tempo that is like... What? I have this one student who sometimes he freezes. I think he's frozen, but he's just very still. <laughs> and I have to tell him, and I ask a question even like, I'll say, yeah. so blah, 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 blah. And he'll just stop for two seconds. And then, but he's thinking, he tells me I'm thinking about the answer, but yeah. I think it's frozen. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, technology, it's fun. Exactly. <laughs> so, ba da da dee. Wait, maybe just, so, yeah, so. But... Try to stick to, to that tempo. Da 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 dee. Keep going. Actually, that was pretty good, except for that you wanted to go back. Yeah. You wanted to do that. So now, when you're practicing it, take it up a notch. Okay. Just try to get it faster until you can, you know. That would be like a good tempo. Yeah. Or, I mean, there's, it's flexible. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's good to be able to go faster, go at tempo, go slower, and then you can kind of choose. Yeah. Maybe a slightly. Uh, do you want to take the... Let's go from here. 
but we're going to go into the second section after that. So. Okay. That's uh, so that's make sure you get these right so it's and then okay, right? Take it from there, bum or same place actually, the G sharp. Stop there. Yeah, there was also a little pause here from the from the. Yeah. Uh, I always s want to for. I mean, I don't want to, but I'm always forgetting that part, or I think I'm about to forget it. Right. in time da -de -da 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 -da. Yeah. it's all there's no slowing down let's take it from maybe slower See you slow down there. Yeah. Say da 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 bum bum bum. So do you have the music in front of you? Yeah. So can you find that? Uh, yep. That measure. Yeah. See that's uh, so it's two e and uh, one e and uh, two and right. Yeah. That's the last line. What is it? Uh, third measure. Yeah, last line, third measure. So it's one E and uh, two and uh. Yeah, so it's like da -de 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 -de. These are all sixteenths. Da 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 ba da 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 bum bum bum. Did that help? <laughs> I think so. I was trying to do like what is that? Uh, SOS. <laughs> Okay, uh, is this getting through? The, do you see that those are two eighths? Yeah. And and the movement before that is all sixteenths. So one e and uh, two e and uh, one e and uh, two and right. Okay. Maybe you go slower. Can you go from yeah. da di da 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 da, or you can slow it down. Yeah, see, you stopped at that last. Yeah. Uh, you stopped too. Oh, 
Yes. Right. That's better. Yeah, that's that's okay. it. For some reason, now maybe if it was, and that's not even the end of the piece either, because otherwise yeah. I would say that sometimes people slow down towards the end. But let's work that again. Let's see if you can do this. So uh, it's second line, last measure. You're going to start at this, uh, the, but I want you to count it. So it's going to be two E and a one E and a two E and a, try it, try it. Uh, two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E. Okay, good. Except this time you did it. You actually did it. But then you paused after the. Yeah. You paused. I was sure if I was going to stop there or keep going. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Okay, try it again with counting. So. Yeah. Two. Two. To, right, right. So it's perfect, uh, just rhythm, tempo there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So just minor kind of things like that. Um, yeah, I think it's going well. I just think you just, you have to practice um, starting to get it faster. Okay. Yeah. So, so we can take little sections like, let's just try the first, you know. That can you do da, da 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 at that tempo. Okay, a little bit. So uh, try it. It's a, it's really about the shifts. I yeah. Think that's the... So when I well, I can't really utilize the open string, but you just have to move quicker. Yeah. To the E low E. Better, yeah. All right. Right. So try it again. So dee da da dee. Right. Yeah. Can you go a little further? Yeah. Da, da, da. great yeah so it just it's a matter of just practicing and i think you kind of you almost could do it yeah you just have to remember to stick very strongly to the tempo Dee -da -ba -ba. yeah can you play this um you can slow it down from the beginning to the end in other words and at fine okay you don't, you don't have to go through all the repeats just okay does that make sense so yeah, pretend, pre like pre one, go ahead. Oh, just do everything like one time. Yeah, pre yeah. pretend you've gone through the whole piece and then you went back to capo and then okay. you're ending at fine okay. in the middle. So it kind of ends, it's a da capo. Yeah, right? yeah. Does that make sense? I think so, yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll find yeah. out. <laughs> That's it, basically, right? Thing, and then we didn't touch the guitar. We touched the third string, all fingers, 
And then we relax the arm right there. That looks totally different. Yeah. Okay. Now put your thumb on the fourth string. Now put the other ones on I and the right. Now just nice and slowly, just play the thumb though, only thumb. Right, just down. Yeah, and just relax the others right. Okay, now keep the thumb fixed. Now you're only gonna play I M A, and they go straight into the uh, towards the elbow. Like I mean, all at, all at once. Oh. Right. So like this, bump, like this. Bump. Touch. Right. So they're going straight. They're not moving up. Like this, they're going straight in. And it's okay if they touch each other like this, that's fine. Okay, yeah. So uh, a right hand, before it looked like you were playing more like this. Yeah. Kind of like this, rather than having it rounded. So the, you should go back to, like, especially when you're practicing arpeggios, do that. Make sure you have a very loose, well, like this. So this is loose. Yeah. Bring it up. Now you have a good fairly straight wrist but this is nice and kind of curved find it and then i even like a little bit of an arch there tiny bit okay so even me this is just personal though some people have it very flat i like a lit I'm, it's not even that much yeah but it gives me that claw we used to call it the john williams claw <laughs> <laughs> no we used to study he it came out with a DVD, the guitarist, uh, John Williams. Yeah, uh, yeah. Classical, like famous. He's like the, <clears throat> one of the great greats. Yeah, he was um, like Andre Segovia's student, right? <clears throat> yeah, he did study with Segovia, yeah. Okay. When he was like 13 to 15 or 16 or something like that. But um, he came out with this DVD back in... And back then, it's not like all this was on, there was no YouTube. Or, yeah, yeah. So we were starving for, you know, like to see, I'd never seen John Williams play. So he came out with a DVD. It's still great. Um, but we would slow it down and me and my friend would watch it in slow motion back up to figure out how he was using his right hand. Okay. And so this is kind of a little bit more him. Segovia was different. Segovia had this kind of lean this way. I don't know if yeah. you ever watch it go hit, kind of a very leaning this way. Yeah. Um, and then there's Williams. I kind of prefer the Williams because uh, his technique was just, I mean, for right hand, it was just, he was like a monster. Like yeah, the right yeah. hand. Um, although in terms of expression, I mean, uh, John Williams is great and he is expressive, but in terms of expression, sometimes I like other guitarists. But in terms of technique, just how his hands moving, yeah, it's amazing. So basically, it's the same way. A little bit of a just tiny bit of that, and so try not to fall into this where the knuckle is the first thing. Yeah, like we want a little bit of that, a little more perpendicular to the string. Okay. Right? Then you can have, you have better leeway. Otherwise you're going to start using these knuckles here. Oh, instead of. And, and we, these are weaker. Yeah. And also it creates a different sound and you're, it's different angles. Right. So guitars, well, any sport or guitar, jujitsu, basketball, it's about angle. It's physics. Yeah. So. It's the physics of the right hand. And basically we want this and we want to work with the anatomy of the hand. We don't work against it. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to play like this, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Right. So play. So, so once again, find your position. Yeah. Find the third string, G string, everything's there. And then you just drop it right now. Even just have now put a little bit of a, just a tiny bit. Like not like this, but just a little bit, right? And then I just play the thumb by itself. So the thumb, no, but don't try not to move the hand. So this is set, it's just thumb going down, right? There you go, just down. And it goes downward, down, it doesn't go up, right? Thumb doesn't go like this, it goes down, right? Okay, good. Okay, keep the thumb fixed. Now we're gonna play these three together. We're basically, I'm just doing this actually into the palm. Oh. 
Right. As opposed to this, you were kind of doing that before. Oh yeah. So right from the bigger fulcrum point is the bigger knuckles. Yeah. Right. 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 Can you give a little more of this? Yeah, just a little more, right? Good. And then now do both. Or, you know, at the same time. So it's just like doing, almost like you're going to pick something up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we work with the, the anatomy of the hands, how they work. Because um, that's the best way through evolution, right? Yeah. So this is how we work. And we... If we work against the way that the mechanism of the hand is uh, built, first of all, we're we're going to not going to be as good uh, efficiency, energy, and emotion. And we're going to be we're going to sacrifice that if we start doing things in ways that the hand doesn't like. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so let's just from that perspective, let's do one at a time, forward only. 